Hello guys, welcome back to Take Dose and in this video we will look at max sum of a pair with equal sum of digits problem which is from lead code number 2342. Let's now look at the problem statement. In this problem you are given a zero indexed array nums consisting of positive integers. You can choose two indices i and j such that i is not equals to j and the sum of the digits of the number nums i is equals to that of nums j. Return the maximum value of nums i plus nums j that you can obtain over all possible indices i and j that satisfy the conditions. Now let's say that your nums array is 18, 43, 36, 13 and 7. Now the problem was asking about uh, find the maximum sum pair with equal sum digits right so what is the meaning of this sum of digits now if you consider this 18 then the sum of its digit 1 plus 8 is equals to 9 right similarly for this 43 the sum will be 4 plus 3 7 for this 63 it is 6 plus 3 9 for this 31 it is 4 and for this 7 it is it will be 7 so all the sum of the digits will be 9 7 9 4 and 7 right now out of all these you need to find the pair with the maximum sum having the same uh, sum of the digits. So what we can do in this case is, if you look at the answer, then 18 and 36 can be paired up because they have the same sum of digits. And then uh, you can pair up this 43 with 7. Now out of all these available options, which one is giving you the maximum sum? It is 18 plus 36 which is 54 is giving you the maximum sum because 43 plus 7 is actually 50 which is smaller than 54 right that is how 54 is the answer now in this case if you want to solve it by the simple approach then what you have to do is for every item let's say for 43 you have to iterate for all the items on the left hand side find out each of the digit sum and then if the digit sum happens to be same as 43 that means for 43 the digit sum is 4 plus 3 7 if the digit sum happens to be equals to 7 then you can maximize a max sum so you can take the max sum equals to minus 1 because all the values are positive in this case you can check it out it is from 1 to 10 to the power of 9 so you can take max sum equals to minus 1 and then you can just try to maximize right so in this case 18 is actually uh, having a digit sum of 9 and uh, this one is having a digit sum of 7 so they are not forming a valid pair so you can just iterate for this 36 this 36 a digit sum is 9 3 plus 6 right so you can just iterate for all the items now 18 is having the same digit sum so this makes a valid pair and so 36 plus 18 is 54 so try to maximize this and like this if you try all possibilities then you know that the number of pairings that you can get is order of n square right now if you look at the constraint then the constraint is saying that nums dot length is 10 to the power of 5 maximum so if you write an n square algorithm it will become 10 to the power of 10 which is much higher as compared to 10 to the power of 8 therefore we will not be able to solve within one second we should always aim to solve with less time than 10 to the power 8 number of computations if you look at the second example in this case there are no two numbers that satisfy the given conditions that means if you find the digit sum for this it will be 1 plus 0 1 this is 3 this will be uh, 9 plus 1 10 and this will be 1 plus 4 5 so none of the digits sum are same so we will not be able to form any valid pair because a pair a comma b should have the same digit sum so it is not possible in the second case hence we are returning minus 1 and that is the reason why I had assigned max sum with minus 1 because if it never gets updated you can simply return minus 1 right. So this is the brute force approach now before moving on to any optimal solution idea let's look at how to find the digit sum quickly. So if you have n equals to 243 then you can take a digit sum variable sum equals to 0 and you can keep on dividing this n unless it becomes equals to 0 so if you take n mod of 10 then the 243 mod of 10 will give you the last digit which is 3 so you can add 3 to this given sum so the sum will change to the value 3 and then n will be divided by 10 so if you divide this number by 10 if you divide it by 10 then you will lose the last digit and this will be 24 so n's new value is 24 again you will repeat the process 
take mod of 10 for this 24 which will be 4 so add 4 to the given sum so this will be equals to 7 and then you again go inside and divide this 24 by 10 so this will become 2 okay and then again repeat the process so 2 mod of 10 will be 2 so 2 will be added and this becomes 9 right and after that you just divide this 2 by 10 and this will become 0 so this is where your while loop will stop and the total sum I mean the sum of the digit will be 9 so this will be the code which you will be using and the time complexity for this will be order of log n even though you might think that it is constant but uh, to be exact it is log n and uh, the base of the number system is 10 so you can put a base 10 here but 10 is a constant so we are not putting it it is log n and the space complexity is order of 1 okay now we have seen how to find the digit sum now let's see the strategy for finding the max sum pair let's say that if i pick an element 41 and if i say that this is your uh, second element of the pair and the first element has to be selected from the left side then what do you think which element will you select from the left side first of all uh, you will find the digit sum of this b which is equals to 5 and then you will find out all the elements on the left side which is having the same digit sum so in this case it is at index 1 and at index 3 which are 14 and 50 but out of these two available options you can easily say that it will be 50 which i am interested in because i want to maximize my sum right so if b is already fixed here to 41 then the number which i will be most interested in will be the maximum value with the same digit sum so if there are two or more values with the same digit sum then i will only be interested in the maximum sum so instead of iterating over all these items if i have seen these all items then for the same digit sum let's say for the same digit sum if i can maintain the maximum value which i have seen then when i reach to 41 then i will know that whether i have seen the same digit sum or not so in this case i have seen the same digit sum and if i had maintained the maximum value that would have been 50 so i can just find out the digit sum go to a lookup table and find out the maximum value to its left that we had seen right and in that way i can maximize the entire pair sum and whenever i want to go to the next item before that i can just keep on updating if this 41 is even greater than the maximum element then i will be updating this to 41 otherwise i will not update it because later if, if even if i see the same digit sum value then i will know from the lookup table what is the max value with the same digit sum to its left so the best option for any element will be to pick the maximum element with the same digit sum to its left why i said to its left because we are iterating from left to right so if you haven't seen the element on the right then you will not know what to pick isn't it so this will be our optimal strategy and that is why in the dry run i will be using a hash map so simply i will take an array of size 6 and i will be iterating for all the items from left to right and we will have a max sum variable which is assigned to minus 1 now I'll go to the first item and I will check what is the digit sum. The digit sum is 7. So do we have any item on the left side of this with the same digit sum? So look up this digit sum in the map. So in the map for the key digit sum, there is no entry for 7. And that means there is no number to the left of it which has the same digit sum. So it cannot form any valid pair. But we can actually save this and make it an entry for the digit sum 7 we have seen a number 52 and we can just move ahead because it can be used by any later item now for 14 the digit sum is 5 now i will just do a lookup and 5's entry is not present that means there is no item on the left with the digit sum of 5 so what we do is it will not be able to form a valid pair at this point of time but i can always create an entry for digit sum 5 the maximum value that we have seen is 14 move on to the next item this is giving a digit sum of 7 go to the lookup table and see if you have 7 yes you have 7 what is the maximum value that you have seen which is 52 so 52 plus 34 is how much 2 plus 4 is 6 and then you have 5 plus 3 is 8 so 86 is the pair sum and you know 86 is larger than minus 1 so update max sum to 86 right now before going to the next item you just check for the digit sum 7 
which one is larger is 34 larger or 52 larger so 52 is larger so keep it as it is and go to the next item now you are at 50 the digit sum is 5 5 plus 0 is 5 now look up uh, the table and for 5 you already have a max value to the left equals to 14 so if you just add it up the value will become 64 right now 64 compared with 86 64 is smaller so no update is going to happen and before moving on to the next item for this uh, digit sum 5 you know that 50 is larger so update this value to 50 and go to the next item which is 41 now for this 41 the digit sum is again 5 so go to the lookup table and look at the value yes 5 is present and it is saying that the max element is 50 till now so add 50 to 41 and this makes it 91 so you know that 91 is greater than 86 so update this to 91 right and before moving on to the next item check if 41 is larger or 50 is larger so 50 is larger so no update will happen go to the next item which is 61 the digit sum is 7 now you will go to the lookup table and check if 7 is present yes and the maximum element that we have seen till now is 52 so this forms a valid pair and add uh, 52 with 61 so this becomes 2 plus 1 which is 3 and 6 plus uh, 5 which is 11 so 113 is actually larger than 91 so update it now before moving to the next item 61 is larger therefore update this digit sum 7 max value to 61 and move on now we are done with all the elements and whatever is stored in the maximum sum will be our answer which is 113 right so in this particular approach we have iterated through the entire array exactly one time so that will be order of n but you know that for every element we were finding the number of digits with the find digit sum code which was actually log of uh, the item so i will say that log of m because m is the maximum item of this entire array so in this case i will say the time complexity will be n log m and the space complexity will be order of n due to the hash map so this is the entire approach let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number this is the code for digit sum that i had said now in the driver function of maximum sum we are given the nums array and we are declaring the map which is the sum max value we are also taking the maximum sum initialized with minus one we are iterating through each of the item in the nums array and then we are finding the digit sum after that we are uh, finding if there is a same entry with the digit sum in the hash map so it will mean that there is something to the left if i have seen a sum s currently then is there another element at least one element on the left hand side with the same digit sum s if this is true then i will try to maximize the max sum which will be equals to max of max sum comma the current element and the largest element with the same digit sum on the left hand side and before moving on to the next item we will be checking if the current item is actually uh, larger than the max value on the left side if it is true then i will be updating it if this entry itself was not present in the hash map that means this is the first item that we are seeing with the given sum value then i will be simply inserting this into the hash map as it is right and after completing the entire process my max sum will contain the maximum pair sum in case if we are not able to find any valid maximum pair sum then in that case uh, we will be returning minus one so this is the entire code and i hope you have understood this if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you